Hello beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. I want to go over my three top tips for volume with females in Jiu Jitsu. This one is for the guys. So I've been doing Jiu Jitsu now for over five years, getting close to six years. And I've rolled with a lot of men for at least two years of my Jiu Jitsu life. I have only a training place purely with men and I've had the good and the bad. Tip number one is if you're really heavy, then play on the bottom. Work on your bottom game, work on your guard. Uh, I find this a lot. I come across guys that are 100 kilos plus and they want to automatically go mount. They want to start on top. They want to attack you and pass your guard. And when you're quite small or when you're a lot smaller than the other guys, you, that's, you're more prone to get injured, you're not going to enjoy the sport and this, this is a pretty new small sport for females to be getting into so we really want to encourage more females to come into the sport and don't just smell them and squish them so automatically when we clap hands, if I'm in Nogi I can tell the level of the guy or how many females I've rolled with based on how they initially approach that first instant in the rolls so if they're relatively new or white belt I notice that they automatically clap and try and jump straight on top of me whereas if they're brown or black belt they will sit on their butt and they will sit back and let you start playing their top, your top game Tip number two is don't be a spastic. I mean that in the nicest way possible. But I've had flying knees come at me. I've had elbows. I actually got hit in the nose today and it's slightly bruised. I had to cover it up with some makeup and obviously by a white belt. So usually this is more than likely common with white belts and some early level blue belts. But that you are more than likely going to injure someone um, and injure a female if you're a little bit more spastic. Pretty much. All my injuries are from guys introduced to doing things that they shouldn't have. I broke um, a tall ligament inside of my collarbone and also inside my shoulder because I was born with a guy who was 150 kilos. I was going really well on top and he was getting pissed. So he passed my guard and he landed his whole body weight onto my shoulder and inside here and it hurt so much. I had a huge crack across my collarbone. I thought I broke my collarbone. I, I breathed it out. I didn't tell him I hurt anything. I was like, I don't feel too good. I'm going to go get a drink of water. But I was in agony just from him landing twice my body weight on top of my shoulder and I've had flying knees come at me. I've been hitting the elbow so many times. I've been I've torn my shoulders out from guys just yanking it. I already have a bulging disc in my neck and I've had some guys just fully crank on it even after letting them know that I, I am wary of it. So tip number two just don't be spastic be careful females are built a little bit differently and smaller men and uh, you don't need to prove anything especially in training and when it comes to competition you're not going to be, not going to be competing against females anyway so you really have nothing to prove and my final tip number three is one that you probably won't hear around very often is don't give us females pity taps i get that a lot i'll be rolling with a brown belt guy i could be rolling really well and i could be giving him a tough time but he will um he will pretty much just be a little bit lazy and i'll get an armbar on him and he'll be like wow you caught me in an armbar well done i'm like you weren't even trying and he'll give me a pity tap um because he's like ah oh, she deserved it or at the end of the ball he's just like oh but you didn't catch me it's like dude you were twice my size You've been training twice as long as me and I know you're just being friendly. So giving like those little tiny slight compliments where we know we don't really deserve it is a little bit of a slap in the face. So we do like honest, we do like when you say that we're doing really well or we're making it really tough or something good we did. But don't be like, oh yay, well done when really we sucked. So if a girl is good, give a compliment. If she sucks, give her some pointers. And by pointers, I don't mean halfway through a roll when you're just about to armbar. Um, just the girl just about to armbar, you stop her and give her a few tips because you know you're about to lose. That is also very common, and that's a little bit of an ego trip. So don't use your ego. Don't bring your ego into the sport. Uh, if a girl is been training longer or more technical, or you're having an off day and she's catching you, just accept that you're going to get caught. It is part of the sport. If when a person gets to a certain level, size doesn't matter as much. Technique does have a little bit more to play. So those are my three top tips from along with chicks and juice. So of course, there's the obvious ones of not saying sexual things in her ear and not making her feel uncomfortable in the mat. Um, obviously, being aware that she has a chest and not elbowing her, putting the knee into the chest instead of the belly like there's all the obvious little things as well um not throwing her across the room or picking her up and throwing her because she's automatically a little bit lighter than the average guy so there is other things that come sense but those are just my three main ones that i see on a daily basis when i'm training jiu-jitsu against men 
so thank you guys so much for checking out this video um if you guys have other pointers or other questions for when it comes to bond with females or you're female and you've come across a weird situation then let me know in the comments below in the meantime press that subscribe button right there and i'll see you guys very soon keeping strong happy and healthy